that process with that one. However, I recognize here, guys, that I have two denominators, right? I have a denominator of 2 and I have a denominator of x plus 2. Now, I got to be careful with the words that I chose last time because if you guys remember when we were doing this last class period or we were trying to find the LCD, I said, what do they have in common? So most students would say, oh, well, they have the 2 in common. Yes, but what I meant when I was saying that is what factors do they have in common? The factors of 2 are just 2 and 1, right? What two numbers multiply to give us 2? Two? 2 and 1. Well, 2 does not fa is not a factor of x plus 2. 2 does not divide evenly into x plus 2. Agreed? So 2 is not a factor. So therefore, they don't share a common factor of 2. They actually don't share any common factors. Because again, you could say the factor here is 2 and 1. This one would be x plus 2 and 1. So therefore, the LCD, if you remember, if they don't have any common factors, is just going to be a product of the two denominators. So in this case, my LCD is just going to be 2 times x plus 2. So therefore, if I want to get rid of my denominator, I'm going to multiply everything times 2 times x plus 2. Everything. Okay? Because again, if you don't multiply everything, guys, it's not an equation. And you don't have an um, inequivalent equation. So in this case, I'm going to use brackets. And I'm going to represent this by this derivative property. So if I multiply 2 times x plus 2 times 1 over 2, what divides out? What divides to 1? The 2's. So therefore, that's just going to leave me with a 1 times x plus 2. You don't really need to write the 1 times x plus 2. You could just write x plus 2. But I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that's where it is. Over here, the x plus 2's divide out, divide to 1. So you're just left with a 1 times 2. And here, you're left with a 3 times 2 times x plus 2. Well, obviously, guys, this can be simplified. x plus 2 plus 2 equals 6 times x plus 2. I'm just breaking down my work a lot more. You can combine like terms and just a property. x plus 4 equals 6x plus 12. Now we have an equation where x is on both sides. Agreed? So therefore, I just you know, subtract my x here. And I can subtract the 12. So therefore, it's going to give me a negative 8 equals 5x. Divide by 5, divide by 5. Rewrite it the other way. x equals negative 8 fifths. OK. Could you guys actually move your group so it actually is angled? Because therefore, then just turn it around if anything's here.